What's going on YouTube? Back here with another video today. In today's video, we're going to be finishing up the wheel setup on the Lightning. We got our 17x7s we're going to unbox for you guys. We got the tires that are going to go on those. We're going to get those mounted today. We're also going to be painting our rear calipers that we ground down for the 15s and getting everything buttoned up. And this thing should be on the ground today on its new wheel setup. And I'm pretty stoked about that. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into the unboxing. All right. So I got my race stars in. These are 17 by sevens. And basically that's going to be right in between the four and a half inch skinnies and the 10, 10 and a half. I forget what it is, whatever the stock size is. I think they're 10 or 10 and a half. I don't remember, honestly, but these are going to be a good, happy medium. Um, I have opened these already, obviously, but basically it comes with the center cap and the bolts. And then of course the wheel. It's all wrapped up pretty nice. Um, not really going to be able to do this with one hand, so I'm going to cut back to you when I open that up. Alright, so I got that all in package. It's basically wrapped, and it's got this foamy stuff around the front so it doesn't scratch and whatnot. And they look pretty damn good. I don't know if I'm going to keep them polished or not, but man, does that look really nice. Really happy with that. You are going to need, when you get your tires mounted, for them to put valve stems in, because it didn't come with valve stems or anything like that. These are 17 by 7s They're going to be a good compromise between stock and skinnies. And it should look really aggressive on the truck with the little skinnier front tire and then the big old beefy back tire. So I cannot wait to get these installed. Super stoked about it. I'm going to put that back in the box and send both boxes with these tires with the wife. She's going to go up and get them mounted for me. I'm going to run the 235. 65 r17s these are a 29 inch tall tire they're one inch taller than stock i didn't realize that when i got this size this is just the size i saw that was the most recommended on forums and i'm not sure if it's going to look weird or not because the rear tires i'm going to run are going to be 28s so technically these will be one inch taller than the rear i mean only a half inch really because you go by the center because they're mounted in the center half inch of that will be in the wheel well and the other half will probably sit a little higher but we'll see how it looks i'm going to drop the front end anyways with two inch drop springs and then put shackles on the back eventually hopefully soon tired of the wheel gap but anyway so these are the tires we're going to run these are toil proxies st3s i believe these are a fairly new tire they look really nice i love the tread pattern on these should look pretty sick so yeah these and these are gonna get married today and be put on the truck. We're gonna finish up these calipers. They're all ground down. I took them to the shop with me and sandblasted all the old paint or powder coat, whatever that red stuff was off and cleaned them up really good because they were pretty nasty. I guess whoever sold these to me had them sitting outside for a while and they were just gross. So I uh, plugged this end here. You don't want any sand or anything getting in there because that's where you're going to attach your brake line to. And we plugged that off. I taped this up and sandblasted the hell out of this thing and got it pretty clean. Looks pretty good. Both of them look nice. And that should help the paint stick real good because basically what we're going to do is we're going to do some flame proof primer. It's basically a high temp primer and then some caliper paint. We went with orange because we're going to do little orange accents throughout the truck. And as we do more orange, it should come together. A lot of people, oh, the orange looks stupid on a red truck because we did the blower orange. But as we add more orange accents, I think it's really going to pull the look to I'm going for it together. But even if it doesn't, screw you. It's my truck. I'm doing orange. So, but yeah, so we're going to get painting on these, send those up with the wife and get those married together. And hopefully we can get these bad boys on there today. We're going to have to... When we're done painting these, put these on, bolt them up, bleed the brakes, get everything compressed and sitting the way it's supposed to. And we might have to take a little bit more off of some areas depending how when the brakes clamp that it sits or pivots itself. It might pivot itself somewhere different on how we had it just sitting there. But we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. It'll be easy enough to touch up the top and then just repaint the tops. It's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and get to work on finishing this baby up today. All right, so unfortunately, we got some roofing going on back there and it's super noisy. So I'm not gonna be able to film a whole lot of the painting process because that's all you're gonna hear is them roofing. But all we're gonna do is lay a couple coats of primer down, 
let it dry a little bit, a couple coats of paint, follow the directions on the can, there's not much to it. And then we'll come back to you when they're all done and painted, and then we can bolt them on the truck. But yeah, super noisy over there, so I'm not gonna film any of the paintings, that's just obnoxious. Not to mention, we've done plenty of stuff painting, there's plenty of videos out there already about that, so we're just gonna follow the process according to what it says on the can, get these primed, get these painted, and we'll come back to you when they're all done. All right, so the calipers are painted and back on the truck already. We bled the brakes and everything. And we, we did have to shave the top back down. And I wanted to kind of show you guys what we had to do. The paint came out kind of like crap, honestly. I don't know what it is, if I got a bad can or whatever. But it almost came out like wrinkle coated. Like you can see how gritty it looks. And it did that no matter how close I got, far away. I tried all kinds of different things to get it to come out right. I've done plenty of spray paint projects before. This stuff just was not shooting very good, but I mean, I guess it'll look all right. It's definitely orange, and we're obviously gonna paint the tops of these again, but we did have to, once we got the Blake's, uh, blah, blah, blah. once we got the calipers on there, bled and squeezed the way they should be, it did cock itself a little different compared to how we had it sitting there when it was just free sitting. I mean, we bolted it, but you could still have some movement, so. We had to grind some more, not much, just a little. Probably took us another half hour's worth of grinding and that's our end result. You can see right here has to be ground quite a bit. That's really sketchy. That's the piston area. But we should be good. It's not touching anymore. And we should be able to paint that and be good to go. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're left with. All we're gonna do is take the orange paint that we have left, spray it into a cup and then use a brush and just paint the tops of that again until it's nice and orange. And then same thing with the other side. Other side's done, we'll do the same thing. Um, I ordered a set of tires for these and those should be coming in Monday, I believe. So I wanna get those mounted, balanced, then we'll put it on there. And while it's still in the air, I'm gonna start the truck, put it in drive, slowly let off the brake and just let it free spin in the air make sure we have no more rubbing before we actually lower the truck and call it quits but we should be good to go I did the tape method nothing rubbed so we should be good but I figured while it's already up in the air we'll just paint the tops put it in drive let it kind of you know sit there and idle and let the wheels spin for a little bit take them back off make sure nothing rubbed but I don't see how we can take any more off the tops of these bad boys they are super sketchy maybe off the front here we got a little bit of room but I think we're good so that's all done got the new tires coming I'm gonna do a video about those I ordered the new NT triple five R twos they're brand new I mean fresh on the market so I ordered a set of those and we'll see how those look on there I did go with a 28 inch tire and I'll get more into that towards the end of this video I'm gonna go into a little bit about tires and whatnot and like how to select your tires but um, also we got the 17 by sevens back and they are all mounted up and ready to go that's this guy here and man these are gonna look really good on the front um, I love the tread on these but for a comparison I took the other tire that we normally run and put it side by side and you can see how much wider it is I mean this is the back but it's the same that I'm running in the front so same tire so that's the width difference can see it's going to be not too bad not too skinny but skinny enough to where you should know a difference especially when we have this on the front we have the big old fatty in the back it's going to look really really aggressive really good but still wide enough to do fine on daily driving i did not want a daily on the four and a half inches i've seen people do it but eh, that's a little sketchy so really happy with these 17 by sevens they're going to look really good on the truck super stoked about it you can see they are almost the same height they're a little bit bigger so it shouldn't be too bad probably not even going to notice it but yeah so that's all good to go i did want to have these mounted in this video but i don't think it's going to happen because like i said i'm waiting on the new rear tires we're going to take those slicks off put something that we can daily on we got a really really nice radial coming and it's just not going to happen for this video so Next video, you should see this thing sitting on the wheel setup that it's going to have. It should be all done and good to go. So, but Yeah, I'm super stoked about our wheel setup. It's almost there. Like I said, just waiting on those tires. 
and then we can just do the last little bits of painting the tops of the calipers and free spinning the wheel make sure nothing else rubs and we should be good to go so final stretch almost there i wanted to get it done for you guys for this video but just ain't gonna happen in time and i wanted to put something up for this thursday I'm trying to get better as far as consistency goes and putting up a video at least once a week but i know sometimes that still can't happen i mean sometimes just life gets in the way especially right now kids going back to school it is getting pretty crazy school doesn't even know what the hell they're doing and it is just super stressful just trying to get everything together but we're getting there we get through it um as far as tires goes for the 15s i chose the nt triple five r2s like i said i went with 325 50 r15s and those are a 28 inch overall diameter tire i've been doing a lot of research on tire sizes and found that the 28 inch are the perfect tire when you have 373 gears for my power range um, if you go to a 30 inch tire it will be too much tire because it does drop your gear ratio i think with the 373s and a 30 inch tire you'll end up around 360 if i remember right it'll drop your gear ratio to 360 and it'll just feel like a pig because it really does make a difference especially if you don't need the tire now if you do need the tire from what I was reading, I think the threshold seems to be about 700 horsepower range is when you want to bump up to a 30 inch tire and we're not quite there yet. We should be mid to high 500s, maybe low 600s if we're super lucky, get an arctic wind and the freaking tailwind pushing the tires, you know, everything with us, but I'm thinking mid to high 500s. So 28 inch tire is exactly what we're going to need it should make this truck really happy and uh that's what we went with we did the 325 50 because it's basically all they had in the triple five r um it'll leave i think an inch more contact to the ground than the mickey thompson our other choice was going to be the mickey thompson et streets and a 295 55 also 28 inch tire but one inch less contact to the ground and also way less dailyable. I need something that will handle in the rain if I get stuck in a rainstorm. Because even when it's not supposed to rain here in Florida, chances are it's probably going to rain anyways because Florida is unpredictable. You could drive to work and it's perfectly sunny. You can be on your way home and it's perfectly sunny. Then out of nowhere, pouring rain. So I didn't want to take the chance. I heard ET streets are really, really sketchy in the rain as are all radials but these 555 r's i've had a lot of good luck with i've driven plenty of downpours rainstorms downright freaking almost hurricanes in these things and they do just fine with the rain so and they also hooked really good while there was still some tread on them while there was still fresh they hooked really good so i'm going to try out the new r2s i heard they're even better supposedly they are even better than the nt05s as far as uh, 60 foot times and the new technology that they added in the, the compound and stiffening the sidewall and blah 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 you know so they say but we're gonna test them out for ourselves and see hopefully they get this thing to hook and book like it should I mean I'm thinking from going to from the 18s to the 15s alone all that extra sidewall and tire we're gonna have not to mention the more contact patch that we're going to have, I think we're going to be really, really good. I think we're going to be hooking and booking. So hopefully it does what we need. And of course, we'll get into more specs and stuff like that later about all that. Might do a whole video on tire selection and choices and sizes and whatnot and all that stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know below in the comments and I'll go ahead and do that. But I think that is going to wrap up today's video. I think I went over everything I wanted to. If not, I am kind of rushing it because I'm supposed to be uploading this tomorrow. I have yet to edit. I have yet to process it, do any of that stuff. So I'm kind of rushing, but hopefully I didn't forget anything. If I did, I'll put it in the next video anyways. So until then, make sure you like this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If there's any videos that you have any ideas for or want to see, feel free to let me know. I'm open to all that kind of stuff, constructive criticism, any video requests or any of that comment below let me know what you think tell me what's on your mind all that good stuff and if you haven't already of course subscribe to the channel ring the bell so you don't miss any videos 
We'll see y'all next time.